Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Ashutosh. In this video, I'm going to talk something about how to get rid of the stale CIs in your system. For example, computers, servers, you can extend it to um, databases or any other web servers, application servers. So we have discovery tools, right? Like ServiceNow Discovery, SCCM. They discover computers, they discover your servers, AI servers, Linux servers. They also discover the VMs, right? But uh, what happens is whenever a server is decommissioned from the network or it is removed out of the network uh, or, or whenever it is uh, retired on the network, it, it is not reflected automatically or immediately in service. Now. Okay, so uh, we have to, you know, monitor those servers do manual work of marking them as retired in the system so that you get a proper view of your uh, dependency map you can do proper impact analysis if event management is in place if you want to do a decision making then it helps you to decide okay this server is decommissioned it's not operational so the impact is not propagated upstreams or downstreams wherever so uh, so there is a solution out of the box in service now that is a CMDB health dashboard where we configure um, the stale, uh, what you say, the stale metric. I, can, I will show you uh, where it, where that is configured basically. Um, it is called as correctness. So it decides your orphans, it decides your uh, duplicate staleness. So the staleness out of the box is I think 120 days. So if the server or the CI is not updated in 120 days, then it will automatically create a task for you. That is a remediation task for you. And then you can get rid of that particular stale assets. But imagine if your system is too large or if you have a huge number of CIs in your system, like around thousands, lakhs, millions of records, then it becomes tedious because after 120 days, let's assume you have 100 tasks in your queue, you will have to go to each and every task and then mark those CIs, retire or, or actually do some action on those CIs. So what, what we as ServiceNow developers propose is to either write a scheduled job or to automate it, automate the retirement. So I have a use case where we as an organization decided that okay, after 90 days, if the CI is not updated, just mark it as retired. That's a company policy, what we have decided. You can have your own policies. Uh, why 90 days? Because we consider few scenarios where uh, discovery licensing is also a part of it. Okay. So what I did is I created a simple flow in flow designer. You can see this flow. What this flow will do is it will run every week at Sunday around 11 p.m. in the night. It will look for all the server records right now I have limited this use case only for servers but you can definitely extend it it's very easy to extend you just need to change the table name and the rest of the things will remain the same so what I'm doing here is I'm considering the records which are operational discovered by service now discovery you can see service now as a discovery source most recent discovery is not empty and the most recent discovery is at or before 90 days. So the server which was discovered, which was not discovered in recent 90 days, then it will be marked as retired or, or most recent discovery is older than 90 days, then it will be marked as retired. So I'm doing, I'm not doing it daily. If you want, you can do it daily, monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you want. There are a few options. So here I'm doing a lookup of the records, of all the records. Then for the each record, we are marking it as retired, adding the comments to that record. And then we are sending an email to the managed by person and the owned by person. With this body, you can customize the body as you need. Or you can do whatever you want. You can put it first to non-operational and after then, after a certain period of time, then again, you can mark it as retired. Okay. Let's go to the servers list, which I'm considering for this example. Here you can see we just have like nine servers. This server is about a month old. This is three months ago, three months ago, um, three months ago, 
two months ago so this should not be marked as retired this should not be marked as retired this should not be marked as retired because it is about a month let's go ahead and see how it works so i'm going to run this act of test run let's keep it go great let's go to the flow let's see how many records were found you can see there were five records found these are the five records which will be marked as retired for each record you can see we are marking uh, it as retired and then we are sending the email also to the owned by and managed by person here you can see the fish id of the owned by and managed by user let's go to the servers list you can see one two three four five the count matches all these five servers are marked as retired if i open one of them you can see it is uh, on the form right now i don't have retired field but it is marked as retired and you can see the comments retired as per inactivity policy of organizations this is just a, my comments you can edit it now I'm going to show you the emails which is triggered. So let's go to the emails and here you can see the emails are triggered, right? And if I show you the inactivity, so you can see the server is marked as retired. The server is not discovered from last 90 days. Name of the server and the last discovery date. So if you have any issues, please contact your owner. Thanks, many. So this helps you to get rid of many stale tasks. So you don't have to do uh, re retroactive monitoring. Uh, this is proactive and it's automated. So you, you can make a use of this flow. I have attached this flow to my article. Uh, this update set is attached there. You can download it and you can use it. It's a generic uh, flow. If you have any comments, if you have any recommendations, Please drop them into the article or the video. Video will be on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my this is my YouTube channel. You can see um, you can also see other videos. So do subscribe, keep recommending, and keep following. Thank you so much.